In San Antonio, leaders overseeing a $450 million upgrade at the Alamo have released their final plans for the historic site. Those plans include tripling the size of the site, closing some streets down and taking down four buildings and moving a 60-foot tall monument. It's being organized by the city, the Texas General Land Office, and the nonprofit Alamo Endowment. This announcement comes days after a state audit was critical of oversight at the Alamo. The findings that leaked were an audit that were pretty similar to the one that was released to the public, but when it was leaked, Land Commissioner George P. Bush's campaign called it fake news. We asked him today to straighten the record. The regretful aspect of a political campaign is that one of our employees um, leaked a rough draft and then added his own edits and comments to uh, the latter portions of the memorandum. So even though the conclusions and recommendations um, may largely be the same, there are some differences. Um, and we've already proactively been working on those recommendations to ameliorate all of them. The, the point of all this is that an employee leaked a confidential document, and, um, and that, that breaches the trust of the public. Bush says the audit was the first of its kind in Alamo history.